So we need a place to display the content of the post, you know, like this doesn't look good, right? So let's go back to PineGrow and we will create a new block uh, for that, for displaying the, the text of the post. So instead of using a ready-made block, let's, let's create one from scratch. And of course we can drag all, all the elements to the page, uh, but for, for such situations I, I like to just do the code and using the simplified syntax uh, with pack. So we'll say we have section and this section will have a container and container will have a row and the row will have a column. We'll add column class later. And then in the column, we will have paragraph with the excerpt. And we'll have another deal with the content. And then we have to click here to insert it. Here it is, our new section. And let's add a bit more text. So right click, insert, lower an ipsum. Okay, that's a bit too much for the excerpt. These are just placeholders so that we have something to work with now. Okay, and we can like add a bit more of, oh sorry, not here, yeah, like that, it's enough. Okay, it still doesn't look too, too great, right? So what we can do is, let's do the, set up the column and let's go to like small, here it should just be whole, whole width or extra small and here as well and then a medium as well and large we can make it a bit, maybe 10 and what we also do it is we also center it spacing so we'll say margin auto auto this will center the the column how about the extra large let's make it smaller here maybe nine and xxl let's make it even less like maybe eight okay and then Well, let's let's uh, hide the UI to see it better. Still not so nice. I would like to make a box, a nice kind of box and move it a bit up all over here. So what we will do is we can select uh, the whole section and Let's, I will press the P key to bring up the floating properties window. And then let's use negative margin on large and up to pull it up by five. Yes, that's okay, but it needs a wide background. And a bit of padding, right? So, and let's increase the padding for only on, on large and up. So 
be four, about four on all sides. Yeah, I think it works okay. And let's also add a bit of box shadow. Regular. And like the style of our page is kind of rounded style. So let's round the box that's down in the border section and we round it on all sides. So if we hide the visual helpers, this is the effect that, we'll, that we get. Okay, now our section needs a bit of bottom space as well. So we will add, let's add bottom margin and we can add it on all sizes, maybe five. Okay. You know, of course, you could come up with nicer design, but we are just, the design is not really the point in this tutorial. We're just making it look okay and showing all the like flexibility that we have at our disposal to really create custom um, designs, custom layouts. Um, quite easily. So let's close this and bring back the panels. So now we have to create a block with this section. So it's selected, we go to WordPress panel and we add a block and we say post content. Category page sections. Again, this will be dynamic block, so we want to set up the current post because we, we will show the excerpt here. But um, one, yeah, of course now you see we have auto and because we didn't yet add any WordPress action, so for now this is still a regular block so we don't have the option to load it. But if we select the excerpt and we say, say post excerpt, and let's also style it a bit. So let's say it's lead, so it's a bit bigger. Okay. And now if we go back to the block definition, so Pinegrow now figured out that this will be a dynamic block and we have this option here. So let's select it. And let's, let's export the team and see what happened. Let's edit the post. Now we can use the post content. Here it is move it up so it goes over the, the image and it displays the excerpt correctly but the, here it's still just the placeholder text so what to do so the first idea that comes to our mind is we say oh so this is the post content right it displays the content of the post. So let's try this. And we add post content action and we export the theme. And let's uh, load the page. So see what happened. We got into an endless loop displaying the content within the content and I think Pinegrow eventually figures this out and it, it stops, it, it throws an error and otherwise if it wouldn't uh, our computer would kind of lock up and freeze and just you know be very busy with endlessly including the content within itself. So why, why, why is this happening? So what is the content of this post? 
it's not just the text, right? It's everything. It's this, it's this block and, and then the content block and then the text that we, we had at the bottom. Where is it? Like these three paragraphs. So all of this is the content of the post, right? Not just this text, like all of these blocks are the post content. And then if we say here, you know, like in this deal, display the post content. So what happens? All of these blocks get displayed there. And it includes our post content block where we use the post content action to again include, display the whole content of the block. And then this is an endless loop. So instead, what we want here, you know, we want an option to, to display any types of content and to edit this in the block editor. So the right action to do that is not post content, but block inner content. And we just leave it default, so there are no limitations to what kind of blocks are allowed. So let's try it now. So you see, now here we, we have a dynamic block with inner blocks that can take any kind of content. So if this would be like the content of, of our our blog post. Let me just copy this, or cut, and we insert it here into this area. So now when we update the post and view it, it is displayed correctly. See, we have the, the hero, and now we have the content area. Um, I'm not too happy with spacing and this, so let's do a bit of styling. So let's increase the, the margins on the, the padding. Let's go five. And give more space and here this text we can make it maybe bold. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, to me it looks better, but you know, you can be your own designer and make whatever you want here. Um, but, you know, are you missing something? You know, where are the header and the footer? And because of our approach to this page, website, where we do everything with blocks, you know, we, we, if you remember, we decided to implement the header and the footer as blocks. So now what we have to do, we have to add them on every post on every page. So if we don't have too many posts and pages, that's okay. But if we would have hundreds or like, then it would be m smarter to include the header and the footer into the index template. But for, you know, here where we write one blog post a week, that's not, a, it's okay. It's not an issue to include the header and the footer on every page. Update, view post. Okay, the footer should be on the bottom, right? easy to move it. So be careful about one one thing here in, in uh, the WordPress editor. Like when you select, click it, you know, it selects the footer, not the reusable block. So if we check, this, this is very useful tool, list view. So here we can see the structure of the blocks of the page. So we want to select not the footer, but the reusable footer, like the group, and then move that down. And it's down. 
update view post and here it is so now how to do the the rest of the posts so here we have a poem and again we have to add our blocks so first we will a header okay let's move it to the top and then let's do the footer otherwise we'll forget it this goes at the bottom didn't go mm -hmm. here it is and then we do the post hero and post content and then we have to move the content that we had down here into this area update view post and here it is so let me do the rest and I'll do it in, in like um, speedy way with special effects so that you don't fall asleep looks nice right and we could even define like different uh, header types hero types and content types and then uh, we could use them on, on different posts. So for example, if we have a light background image, we could create a hero that has a dark title uh, or, or just completely different. So this approach gives us a lot of flexibility. Um, it has its drawback, drawbacks, as you could see, you know, when we were building posts we had to add the the structure to every single post like the the header the footer the hero but this is also what makes this approach very flexible so now we have our beautiful blog posts and we need a way to to display them on the front page and also we need a archive that will display all the blog posts. So let's do that next.